Hey guys, Pedro279 here. I uh, just want to make a quick video showing you guys the power on these two impacts, the DCF889 and the DCF899. So kind of confusing with the vault, with the numbers and the designation and stuff like that. So uh, they just keep, you know, changing stuff and changing battery format and they're all over the place. So I, I hope they're going to stabilize with this platform, the 20 volt max platform. Just hope they're gonna stabilize. But as you guys saw in the previous video, I made a uh, first look video uh, on the uh, impacts that I got and the comparison that I was gonna be able to do in the future. And I wanted to, you know, show you guys since there there was a little bit of interest on the video. I wanted to show you guys a test that I wanted to make with that one. So uh, this is just gonna be something that I got at the hardware stores. Uh, the bolts were a little harder to find, so I uh, was able to find an M10 bolt and an M12. So actually several, I bought two of each just to do some testing in case, you know, one failed. So uh, with the DCF889, I was able to shear off an M10 bolt, but you guys will see that in the video. So uh, if you guys want to skip ahead, so it'll be uh, a little bit further down, down the road if you want to skip and see the actual testing which I think you guys are going to be there for. So with the uh, DeWalt uh, DCF-899, I uh, was able to shear off an M12, but not with the 889. So I uh, was able to shear that off on speed three. Didn't take too long. Uh, the first attempt that I did, you guys will see that, it was in a vise, and that thing is probably torque solid on this. It's probably almost like welded in place, but it just started turning in the vise, so it didn't really work out so anyways uh thought i'd keep it at keep that as a souvenir so you can show you guys a washer real quick the aftermath so uh i think this one was with the dcf uh, 899 because that thing is a little bit deeper in there and that's like a perfect circle so that's pretty cool just dug in there and yep that's pretty cool so show you guys get a washer real quick then we'll skip to the uh the other part of the video so the actual testing part so hope you guys enjoy uh, this little video if you did like to see some action and like to see more action in the future a little thumbs up is always appreciated guys helps me a lot encourage me to make more videos the more views I get the more subscribers uh, the more videos I can make like this and you know I, I'd like to give a shout out to the ultimate handyman uh, because um, I saw the video on the uh, sharing test that he did and it kind of inspired me to do this one. I just wanted to see with the DeWalt and the stronger platform like the DeWalt XR, uh, you know, 20 volt max, uh, high torque impact wrench, the DCF899. So I just want to test th that one out to see which kind of fastener, well, bolts it could shear. So I did not have access to M14 or a M16 bolt because apparently uh, if the bolt is named after a weapon up here in Canada, we won't be able to get it for some reason. So since it's M16, you know, the quotes M16, uh, it's dangerous. So it has the potential of being used as a lethal weapon to kill masses. So anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm just blabbering. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the following video on te uh, testing this, uh, these two impacts and trying to shear off some bolts. So hope you guys enjoy and catch you guys later. Hey guys, Padre 1079 here. Gonna do a little bit of testing with the DeWalt uh, DCF889. So this is the older version, as you can see for the head. I got the DCF899 as well. So uh, if this doesn't do the job, well, this is gonna do the job. So what I'm gonna do for testing, I wanna test to see if I can shear some bolts. So I got an M10, M10 bolts right here, and I got an M12 bolt. So let me show you guys the uh, the diameter just so you guys can see the difference in the size of the heads so uh, a little bit bigger I don't know if you guys could tell there so a little bit bigger of a bolt the M10 versus the uh, M12 so tensile strength of 8.8 .8. so I actually saw a video like that from the ultimate handyman and I wanted to test out the DeWalt because he did it with the uh, old style Milwaukee so uh, the uh, f the other Milwaukee, I don't know, HW uh, 
18, I think it was, and that thing can shear off a M12. So I got an M10 and an M12. So I want to see if that bolt is going to be able to, that impact is going to be able to shear off that bolt. So let's go with the M10 first. So the, the way I got it set up, I got two lug nuts there. I got a washer. I'm going to put that in vice and just torque on it until it's, uh, it snaps, hopefully. So hopefully this won't waste you guys' time or mine for the video. So just going to put it slightly above here just so I get a little bit of wiggle room. I'm going to put my ears on, guys. Probably should have some glasses on, too. So, all right, guys. Shear test. Here we go. Completely sheared. An M10, so. So guys, it's sheared off an M10 and my test works, so. Take that off. Now guys, the true test, this is gonna be the uh, M12, so let's see if we can shear off an M12, all right? So we already sheared off the, uh, the M10, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys that again. So completely sheared off the M10. So let's see if we can shear off the M12. So same setup. I'm just gonna give it a slight edge so it can go over there. Give it some pull. All right, guys. M12. DCF889, the older version. Oops. Probably got to change. <laughs> Probably got to change Chuck first, right? And put the 19 millimeter on. So completely forgot about that. All right, guys. Let's go. something's happening but it's not it doesn't seem to be the one to shear it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch from the uh, 889 to the 899 so that's gonna be the first time I see this puppy in action so hopefully oops. all right so this is gonna be the first time I see this puppy in action so where it's gonna get any action, so actually. All right, speed three. So I'm gonna have this setting on speed three. You guys can't see it. Let me cover up the image, so speed three here. Let's see about this one, guys. Put that down the table so it doesn't run away. Then it's gonna be hot. All right, guys. So what's happening is it's just eating the uh, the tread. So what I'm gonna do is I get a second one. So I get a second one, guys. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna squeeze that puppy in real hard. I'm gonna squeeze that puppy real hard in place. All right. DCF 899, full speed. I got a full charge on the battery. I don't know if you guys can tell that, I got a full charge. All right, so that thing I'm gonna really torque down on it. Second try, guys, second try. Well, 
That one sheared off them 12. Guys, see that? So completely sheared off an M12. Alright, I guess I can take my uh, guess I can take my ears off now. So is that one hot? Alright, so look at that. It just completely eaten the uh the bolt up and that thing is still hot. Not super hot, but still hot. And this is the M12 guys, so I had a second one just in case I was prepared, so completely sheared off that M12. So, as the older style uh, Milwaukee could do it, uh, the DCF889 could not do it, so a little bit disappointed on that one. So uh, guys, um, not a bad tool, the DCF899 able to shear off an M10, but not an M12. So. Uh, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know I did a first look video on these two impacts, so on the DCF889 and the 899. So, I know I did a little bit of first look video, and this is the, the kind of testing I wanted to do, guys, for you guys. So, you guys seen it firsthand. So, this thing could totally shear off an M12. And where did I get the other one? I'm guessing it roll up somewhere around here. So there you go. Completely sheared off an M12 and an M10. So, well, actually, I, I didn't have too much doubt about the 899 shearing it off because the 899 is more powerful than the uh, 889. So, but that one, it just completely just damn. It just. <laughs> I guess I, I should have put more torque on the vise the first time. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more, a little thumbs up is always appreciated. Hope you guys find that useful, that, that kind of information useful. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.